What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series. Guys, if you're not a subscriber, if you could do that, hit the notification bell so you know when I post videos. Leave comments and guys, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I also have a Discord. That link will be in the description below. All right, guys, so today's gonna be a really short video. I'm just gonna talk about the uh, jacks that we have at our warehouse real quick. Uh, we have a Yale and we have a Crown. I'm just gonna go into the warehouse. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit uh, of those jacks and then we'll conclude from there. All right, guys, so this is a Yale. You know, I'm gonna talk loudly because I don't have my mic on right now. Uh, guys, these are order jacks. I don't know how many of you people have are going to have this in your warehouse, but let's just get a little bit familiar with the jack. Uh, they're going to tell you four points of contact. That is two feet on the on the uh, base, one hand up here, and then the other hand right here, holding on. And let's go right to the controllers here. You got the up, you got the down, and on the front of it, you got a rabbit to go faster, and you got the horn. All right, so that's pretty much those controllers. And if you come up on the handle, you're going to have the same controllers. Up, down, horn. This button here is whenever you got this coasting. This is a coaster brake. That is for whenever you're selecting, you can coast the jack and it's going to move. That way you keep moving with the jack. If you don't, uh, if you're parked or you're driving the jack without uh, selecting, you want to keep that off because this is also a brake. So if I'm moving the jack and I'm gonna stop, I throw the brake up if I have to stop immediately. Now you do not wanna do that too often when you have a load on because you could shift it forward and knock the load over. Uh, mainly you wanna get used to using your uh, brake up here. I'm going and I just slightly turn it back and that's gonna stop the jack. Just turn it the opposite way and that's gonna break the jack also. So back to the coaster brake. We're gonna put that on and this is up here is in case an emergency. Let's say you're in front of the jack and you're up against a rack and your jack is coasting, well, you push this button, it's immediately gonna stop your jack. And that's a way to stop your jack from the front whenever you have the coaster brake on. So another thing I wanna say with these guys, is some of these, you know, it's really important to make sure that these jacks are properly working because these handles sometimes could get stuck. And if it gets stuck it's and your coaster's on, that jack is going. So, you know, just be careful with that. Always make sure your cables are uh, in good order. Sometimes they get ripped up. Uh, you know uh, because they hang out and also your plate for your uh, battery make sure your plates on there uh, Same as the high lift one that I showed you and that's it guys. This is the yellow jack pretty simplistic. It's a double pallet jack <coughs> And that's it. Let's take a look at the crown. Hey right, guys, so these are the white crowns, you know same thing uh, your battery life is down there I uh, got three bars up down uh, you got the rabbit, you got the horn, and guys, you see there's no coaster brake on this. You have to push this down, and right on the back of this panel, you're going to see a button, and that is to put the coaster brake on. So that coaster brake's on now. To take the coaster brake off, you have to get on the jack, and you have to hit the rabbit button, and it will shut that coaster brake off. All right, let's park it again. Once again, up on the handles, guys, these are chewed off, but once again, up, down, and on both sides is a horn, and then you got your safety button up front. All right, so here, let's put this back down. So this one on, has a coaster. You can walk it on the side of the jack. Let me switch hands. Sorry, guys. You have to push this button in and push this in at the same time, and it is going to move the jack. And also, this has a case hook on it. I told you guys about the case hook. Uh, when products are stripped on the second level, you have to take this case off, uh, case hook off and hook those cases down. Just figured I'd show you that. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's the crown. Uh, you know, a little bit of padding here. Uh, you know, but yeah, guys, these jacks are, you know, very easy to maneuver once you get used to them. But once again, they could be very dangerous. All right, guys. So a few things I wanted to add on to the uh, video is one, whenever you're training on the jack, uh, and you're going to turn, make sure you're actually moving the jack. If you're in a stationary position, it's gonna be really hard to turn that handle. Get used to driving and turning the handle, okay? You don't have to be going fast, you just gotta be moving the jack. So move the jack and turn the handle, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. And another thing is whenever you get uh, you know, a load on, whatever they have you train with, we get stacks of pallets, that's what we train with at our warehouse. Uh, just remember to make those turns wide, all right? A lot of people cut those uh, corners and you're gonna hit the yellow poles or whatever kind of uh, barriers that you have uh, protecting your racks and you're gonna knock your load over. So remember to take a little bit of a wide turn. Uh, so those two things you really gotta remember. Uh, beeping at intersections, I could say three things. Beeping at intersections, taking a wide turn, 
and turning the jack while moving it and not trying to muscle it while you're stationary. Guys, real quick video today. I thought it would be a, you know something to put out there for all you new selectors. So I, I wish you the best of luck at your job. Any questions, guys, and I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.